Hello, Ray Queen here, live after money. Can you see me, mother? <laughs> right, let's have a little chat, shall we? Uh, I've got a coffee. Have you got a coffee? Cheers. I've just eaten some lunch. Sorry, I haven't got anything to show you. Empty plate. Oh, it was so nice. Uh, it was, uh, what was it? Mushrooms, noodles, um, egg, on toast with spinach and courgettes. And it was very, very nice. So, lunch is finished. When I say lunch, it's more like brunch because I, that's my breakfast as well. So I fancied a cooked breakfast lunch. Um, what have I got to show? I've got a few things to show. I don't know how much I've told you about my craft work. Did I show you this? Did I show you that little picture that I made? Um, there you are, showing it you now. So there's four little canvases covered over with fabric beads and embroidery isn't it cute it's very nice so that's finished now did i show you this one this one was the needle felted picture um covered up at the back always neat and tidy at the back a little bit of stick that i picked up on the banks of the river um, so it's needle felting and uh, embroidery. There you are. Nice, isn't it? I'm doing some small projects at the moment. Um, this is one I've just finished, just yesterday. We're going to get a, a reflection here of the window. But yes, yeah, it's, it's in a frame, it's got glass in front of it. So let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. So it's a bit like a uh, folk art, uh, these are lollipop trees um, and it's an old frame um, and pieces of fabric stitched across like that for a background uh, and then the three trees and the sun on top of that with some embroidery. Nice isn't it? I like it. <laughs> Right, so that's those three finished now. I'm now thinking about what am I going to do next. But I have to wait for inspiration. I've got some ideas. Cheers, have you got a coffee? I've just brought a few things out of the kitchen to show you. Things that are part of my sort of, um, I don't know, staple diet. Is that what you call it? So in my fridge, I've always got or nearly always got um, broccoli I like my greens um, sadly this one is not British it's from Spain Espana um, but it is what it is <laughs> but British uh, cauliflower now best before 12th of Feb just ignore that because you can keep a cauliflower in the fridge for up to about three weeks. So, love cauliflower. And Brussels sprouts, you see, 9th of Feb on there. We're now on the 23rd. But they last a long time in the fridge. So I do eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens. And I think they are... Are the sprouts British? Oh yes, Yorkshire. Yorkshire sprouts. Now these are not British. Another one from Espana. Espaniola. <laughs> Spain. Baby spinach. Now I like to have this handy because I put it in just about everything I eat. Um, it does say washed and ready but I have a, a colander by the sink and, and I wash it again in there so and mushrooms now look mushrooms have got vitamin D 
So that is a must these days, vitamin D. These are County Tyrone, which I believe is an island, um, near enough to Great Britain. <laughs> but uh, brown mushrooms, these are British, you know, the British chestnut mushroom. It's County Tyrone, UK in, yeah, I think it is, it's an island, isn't it? But part of Britain. So I like those. And uh, now I've got a, f uh, a pan of... Oh, I've got a pan of stew that I made last night. Now I've eaten one portion. Let's see if I can show you. You might not be able to. It looks it looks a bit uh, yellowy, but it's got all kinds of vegetables in there, all kinds. Anything that I've got in the fridge goes in the stew. Now. What makes it that colour, I put in cheese sauce mix in my stew because it uh, gives it a really nice flavour, ever so nice and uh, I mean I think you're supposed to use it with, with um, cauliflower but I put it in my stew. Uh, half a packet is enough for a, a pan like that. Now also what I put in stew, a little bit more flavour, is soft cheese and it's got garlic and herbs in there and that gives it a nice flavour. I'll sometimes put that in stew or if I'm doing a smaller pan with the mushrooms and the noodles, I will put some of that in with it. So I think it's all about flavour really. Cheers. You got coffee? So the noodles that I mentioned, these you get two packets like that in the one packet. Now I can get away with having half of that amount in a meal. So really there's, there's four meals there. They only take like two minutes, so I just put them in towards the end of whatever else I'm cooking. So I've just had some of those with my yummy yummy lunch. Um, I always have something like this in the cupboard. So whole grain and quinoa and good grains, pulses and grains. Yep, I like those. These are very good for putting in anything because most of my meals are a mishmash, a mish, a mish, mish, mash, whatever I've got in. So I will bulk things out with these and of course you just put some in towards the end of your cooking. It only takes two minutes. Um, I don't, um, I don't go with the hard rice anymore because it's too much of a fat. So, I mean, they're fairly big packets actually. So I would probably divide that into four, three or four portions. So it it can bulk out meals and it can, and it's quite cheap. I can't remember any prices. I didn't have the, I haven't brought the receipts with me. But um, anyway, so a little bit about what I eat. Um, I'm going to town in a bit because I need to go to a post office and pay my car tax. My car tax is due at the end of this month. A piece of paper comes in the post. And for my car, it is £155 for the car tax. It is, um, I think that's quite reasonable actually because obviously the bigger the car the bigger the engine the more tax you pay my car's only got um a small engine um i chose it because it's economical and it's got the big body that was my priority a bigger body but smaller engine um my days of dashing about are finished <laughs> I'm a steady plodder where driving is concerned. 
So I will go to the post office and pay that probably with a debit card from my bank. So um, I tend not to use a credit card hardly at all now. In fact, I don't really have big spends anymore. I mean, if you were to spend or on something very expensive, then using a credit card will give you the extra protection in case something goes wrong. But I don't have many big spends anymore. But um, yeah, so the insurance was paid about a month ago. Her insurance comes up around about the same time for the car. That was £300 um, for the year. And uh, the MOT comes in uh, October, so that's all done and dusted. Until I can forget about that until next October. So that's that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. And uh, have you got a coffee? How are you anyway? How are you getting on? Well, I'm getting on fine. Um, I'm trying to eat well I'm getting exercise although the weather has been awful these last few days the weather has been as windy as heck uh, really big storms and um, but the, the, the summer house is still standing after all this time it's still there cheers so I'm just waiting for a about another few weeks you know maybe another three to four weeks and then then we'll get longer days and then i can go car camping <laughs> um yes as regards um health i'm as far as i know fit and healthy no problems i must admit though a little twinge on the hip <gasps> a little twinge on the hip so now I'm, uh, I don't go running up and down stairs anymore. <laughs> I take it steady up and down stairs. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, so um, apart from that, fine. Cheers. I'd better crack on because uh, it, well, it's 20 minutes to 12, so I'll get off down the town now and get this little job done and uh, hope you're all right just look look just look after yourself right <laughs> look after yourself eat properly eat the right food eat greens <laughs> no i'm not telling you what to do you can do what you like it is your choice um Right, I, I can't think of anything else to say. Is there anything else I need to say? Uh, no, nothing much happening. Give it another week or so and the weather will be much improved, hopefully. And uh, we could get outside a bit more. So this is me, Queen. Um, you don't need to subscribe. You don't need to press the button or whatever because although there are adverts on my um, my videos, I don't get anything from them because that is not why I make them. Um, they cannot send me any money because they do not have my bank details to send it to me. So anyway, uh, I just like to be in nice company and say thank you to everybody out there who watches my videos, even though some of them might be a bit crap, even though I can't edit them because I don't know how to. So with me, it's pretty basic. You have what you get. <laughs> so bye for now. Thanks for popping in. Cheerio. No cats here, they're outside.